All right, so these are all the things you will need for the change out. Um, you do want to put the oil on the seals of the new one just so it can go in easier. This is to loosen it up a little bit as I showed you guys. And then the 10 millimeter socket and the flat screwdriver just to get the breather hole. All right, YouTube, so changing the PCV valves. I know we're taking this off. We're taking this off. That bolt right there, if you can see it, and a bolt back here. And everything should come straight off. I just realized that this plug wasn't even plugged up, but it doesn't go right up in there. And you have to unplug that. But yeah, whoever did my truck last did not hook that up. So I don't know if that's unlucky for me or lucky for me. I'm sure y'all will let me know. All right, so um, there are 10 millimeter bolts, by the way, except one, two. Um, and now we are here. So that is the part right there, right there. That is the PCV valve. Let me show you guys the new one. All right, so this is the part right here. Well, first of all, part number is 42082. I got this from Amazon also. Jesus Christ. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. I do think you need to lube it up. Make sure you can hear the ball is what I've heard. So there's that. But we're gonna go ahead and get this off. That's on, so that's off. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one off and then put this one back in. Let's see how fast that goes. Just like that, you kind of twist it until it goes down. That's what I did. Um, I'm gonna tighten it just a tap. Kind of scared too, but I'm gonna do it anyway. When you're installing that wire, this one that I just pointed out earlier, make sure you press it until it clicks. Um, it does actually click. I pressed it for a while, thought it was done, and I went back one last time and it did click. So just to let y'all know. But make sure all your stuff is installed to the dots, to the notches, and you should be good to go. Quite literally. I don't know if I showed you or not, but that's my old one. There's the... And to the people wondering when your PCV valve is actually bad or when you think it's bad, I can't guarantee whether mine was a problem or not, but when I drive and I hit the brakes fairly hard, it decides to cut off. Um, I'm not sure why it does that, but <laughs> I know my idle sometimes is a little rough. I replaced a couple of things and that kind of settled itself. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what I did replace. I know I replaced my thermostat, but I didn't really have much to do with it. That was because of a different issue. Um, what else did I replace? I gotta look back. Um, if you ask me in the comments what I replaced, I'll let you guys know because I'll know by then. But yeah, that was my issue. Is when I come to a stop, it was if I stop too hard, it will cut off, or I come to a low speed too fast, it will cut off, or if I was driving fairly hard or pulling a heavy trailer or something, and then I come to a stop slowly, it'll cut off, like things like that. So I did some research. I found out that that could be a problem. Uh, my air filter my under the hood air filter i changed it out because um that helped my rough idling it was very bad it was mad dirty i ain't gonna lie <laughs> so that was one thing um if you don't know how to change that out i'll show you guys real quick right after this video but or right after this clip i'll record me showing you guys how to do it but other than that that's what made me think that that was my pcv valve we're gonna see will it fix it i don't know i'm just kind of going along with things but if you like me and you gotta trying to figure out an issue and you start with the cheap parts that'll do it and to change your air filter you literally hit that pin move that pin this pin right here and you move these you can use your finger you can use a screwdriver however you want to do it under this box is your air filter but with that being said like comment subscribe for more and i'll catch you on the next